little known historical tidbit is that time Shakespeare convinced the queen to invite some animals to the royal ball. The animals, of course, immediately set to planning the fancy finery they'd wear. Was inspired by a video I saw by an artist who paints gorgeous oil paintings of costumed guinea pigs every year for their sister's birthday. I'll link their video below. And I went right to my desk, grabbed some references of Elizabethan fashion, and painted a gouache raccoon in a feathered cap. I didn't record that one, but I was hooked and created three more Shakespearean animal characters.
dog lady committed a royal faux pas by dressing in the style of Queen Elizabeth I. But she's a good girl. <laughs> I had a lot of fun creating these characters. I ended up bringing them into Photoshop, cleaning them up a little. I changed the background behind the ant eater to make the set of four characters go together a little better. And I chose some famous lines from Shakespearean plays to add to each character's illustration. And I ended up getting them made into print on demand stickers. I'll show you those at the end. This proud alligator woman chose to wear an embroidered gown with a cape, a large white lace ruff, and some pearls to match her big white teeth. The way she's holding the scepter makes no sense to me, but I don't really know that much about Elizabethan alligators. I chose to include an anteater, mainly for its fabulous snout, but I grew pretty fond of its giant claws as well. I posed him in the classic Alas Poor Yorick scene from Hamlet, but I suspect this anteater is thinking more about how quickly it can slurp up those ants than pondering his own mortality. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I really appreciate it. Good night, good night. Parting is such sweet sorrow that I shall say good night till it be morrow.